Hello, I'm SMK, and today, this is episode 1 of Building a Minecraft City series. If you want to see the whole series, there's going to be a playlist up in the top right. You can also find the entire series here on the gaming channel. I'm also going to be posting maybe the first couple episodes on my main channel as well, which is just SMK. And yes, so if you enjoy these kinds of Minecraft videos and you want to see the next one, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be building this city on an island as here we go we got, we're going to be setting it up so here's the seed we're going to put this seed in here as this seed is just a big island seed and it's going to be perfect for, for building my city also take note of these settings if you're wanting to build your city make sure to use the settings i'm using right now as i'm on bedrock so the um, also take note of the texture pack too as uh, i'm turning off the settings so i don't get any animal spawns we want to play on peaceful we don't want tnt or any fire explodes or anything like that and also yep don't use that modern city one i did check that i've loaded in the wrong texture pack it's actually the modern textures texture pack that's the really good city building one which is odd but in we go Alright, so here we are. We're going to be drawing the districts into our Minecraft world on here. Now, how are we going to do that? So we're going to split this world up into different parts. So, I haven't really looked at this at all yet, but, well, obviously we're probably going to have this. It's going to be a big river system running around. So it's actually island on the outside of the island, which is really cool. And definitely, we can use that for many things. Here is going to be, let's just start drawing out random things. Here is going to be the marina district. We're going to have a big marina in there. There's going to be more out here, obviously. We can't see all of it right now. Here we could have um, a dock. I reckon we can have the dock over here. This looks more like a, a commercial kind of area. I think we have... Hmm, so, residential. We don't want it residential over here. We can have... Then, like, wrapping around in here. We can have the commercial district with a heap of shops and kind of stuff like that. Uh, the marina we could have some higher class living probably all along here really we can have like higher class living god there we go high class living and i think right in the center of the island is where we have the main city the big city area of all our skyscrapers in there and then we just have yeah and around here is yeah it's still the main city too I think this is looking pretty good. Um, that's probably not what we're going to go for. As I'm doing this on the Minecraft Bedrock PS4 edition, which means I can't go on World Creator and make my own world. So this is what we're going to go with for right now. There's going to be changes to this, most definitely. But this is a good start. So for the first time loading into the world, I flew up to survey the area to confirm that I had put the right seed in. And when I flew up, I was amazed at how beautiful it actually looked in game. Um, I'm really excited to get started with the city. I marked out the marina spot, check that out down there. I was checking out the river system and how cool it really looks. And just really double checking that this is the right map and it is and it's awesome. So I began by clearing some trees. Now to do this, I used commands to replace all of the logs in the area that I select with air blocks. And I had tick speeds set up to 20, so it breaks the trees really quick. But you can't really do this in a big area. So you, it, 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 it's a large, it's a large area. It's way quicker than um, breaking the trees. But you can't just like select the entire island, which is what I kind of tried to do at the start. I tried to select like a whole quarter of it to see if I could get rid of heaps. And this is just a test area. We're going to be building from in the middle to start off with, which at this point I hadn't worked that out yet. But as you can see, I was just testing how effective that would be. And it turns out it would be very effective. Just some more tree removaling here. So now we were starting to clear out a significant amount of area as I was starting to clear out the center first. We're going to make our way out to the outside. Is this going to be the, where the downtown city part of this world is going to be? So now that I had cleared out a significant amount of area in the world, I went over to a test world to test out what roads I would be using in um, the builds. So I tested out many different kinds of roads. I tested out main roads, smaller roads, roads with bicycle lanes on them, and just to see which road would look the best. And obviously I'm not going to be doing one road in the whole world. We're going to be doing many different kinds of roads. And this is just to see how they would be, because once you've started, it's very hard to change it. you got to get it right the first time around. Adding details into the roads like drains and flowers and plants on the side to make it come alive. And with that, our road experimenting comes to a close. I'm quite happy with how these roads turned out. 
and I'll be using these in my world. So jumping back over to the world now, we have this big cleared out area that we are able to use and obviously we're able to use what we cleared it out for. I believe we also flattened it out as well, which was uh, done off camera. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get different colours of concrete and map out um, the different kinds of roads. We're going to be using red concrete for a main road, yellow concrete for a side road and blue concrete for like a medium density kind of road. After a bit of mathematics of where how to get it level in the middle, um, we were able to come up with a basic pattern that looks like it will work and I will be using this um, in the main area of the city. As you can tell, it looks pretty mapped out, pretty nice. It's going to be on both sides, not just the right side. So it's going to be like a big grid of blocks for buildings with big skyscrapers, medium density buildings and high rises. And now using commands we were able to fill the rest of the road out with little effort as you can see it works like a charm um yeah you better if you don't do commands you are really lacking in your creative worlds i suggest learning how to do that um there's videos about that on the internet you can find on, on youtube that you're able to find and you'll be able to learn how to use commands and trust me it makes life a lot easier now like the normal edit commands for um, Bedrock Minecraft, Vanilla Minecraft, um, which I have to do because I'm on PS4, is um, like, the, the editing isn't the best, um, cloning and that is very fid fiddly, and if you're going to do like one block long things like this, you might as well just um, place them in. Two block wide, yeah you can use the commands for that, as you can see right here in this clip. Now we've added the intersection for another small road here and now when we fly up this is what we have to work with now. Now it's time to add in some greenery on the side. What we're going to do is we're going to put grass down on every block with some large ferns coming through the middle. Um, then we've got little ferns, we have got and different like flowers just to add in a little bit of colour. Now you don't want to put too many of the same one down as you can see that that was a little bit too close. And um, we got the blue orchards coming in as well and the alums. I'm now not too sure how to say those but you get what I mean. They add colour in and it makes the sidewalk pop. Now you don't want to put um, too high thick blocks. The ferns work alright as they are quite skinny but you don't want it to feel too separated. You want it to, you want it to feel different but not separated the sidewalk from the road. Now to end off episode 1 of the city building um, series, we're going to show you a time lapse of me trying to build a custom tree. Now I'm going to have to do a lot of these, so I'm going to need to get good at it. Um, as you can see, it's, it's kind of difficult. Um, it's, a, it is, it's a difficult progress progre process. Um, it's not as easy as it seems, and I'm, I'm sure it doesn't sound very easy, which, uh, yeah, isn't too good of a thing to probably be hearing. But as you can see, um, I think it went okay the first tree that on the world I didn't I don't think it's that I don't think it's like top tier and we're probably gonna come back and fix it up later but for right now it's all right thank you guys for watching this video now if you want to keep up to date with the series there's gonna be up that playlist up in the top right corner if you enjoy these kinds of videos make sure to like and subscribe it helps the YouTube algorithm find and locate these videos for people like you until then get building